can't pass the people, can't pass the hit man. The Teal Stripe, the Rough Tolex, you know it's going to be an amazing day at the shop. This is the best era for PV stuff here. The old Teal Stripe era. This is it. This is it. Even the solid state stuff they had with the Teal Stripe, you just know it's a winner. I love it. All right, so you guys ought to know by now what this is. Oh, because you, you saw the intro, but even more than that, I, I love this Arrow PB. And this is what you're going to see on the back of the, the Classic 50 series when you're looking at uh, access to the preamp tubes. You're going to see this little plate here. Now, uh, Silvio, uh, you reported that your volume seems to be halved. All right, so we're gonna take a peek in there. Uh, let me just get this old heavy chassis out. And um, if you don't know, Silvio is a purveyor of physically heavy PV amps. He can tell you everything about them and they all sound great, I love them. Feet don't fail me now. This is when you know your amp is heavy. Silvio, I would probably, after the Christmas break, look at replacing these guys. They're all heavily, heavily cracked. And we're back doing a little bit of dust control. I remember this amp. I think I saw this amp quite some time ago. I saw one of my signature cable wraps on on the power cable. I just remember this amp, Silvio. I hope you have a safe flight back to the East Coast, man. Enjoy your family. It was good seeing you. Um, all that good stuff. The 606s, um, at least looking at the silk screening, they don't look like they've been subjected to any uh, thermal nonsense. The front panel's still pretty clean. You want to hear something crazy? You see these knobs? Particularly... Um, the gray insert ones here. These knobs are probably worth more than this entire amp is. Um, these knobs are incredibly hard to get from this particular era and they go for a lot of money online. So if you see a scrapped PV on Craigslist or something, snatch it. And if you can't get it up and running, then sell it for the knobs. Sell the knobs rather. I'm not saying cannibalize the thing, but if you can't get your money back out of it, then there's going to be a dude who's probably willing to pay like 20 bucks a knob. I'm not even joking. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I love this amp. And it's funny, um, once you get the chassis out, it's not that heavy. It's that insanely thick wood cabinet, that head shell that PV put together. So let's get her flipped over and we'll check out the preamp tubes. So it's pretty interesting as I was going through methodically replacing the preamp tubes. Um, I had commented prior that the signal seemed to be shutting down as I pulled the tube and I just remembered, um, I believe these tubes are uh, running their filaments in series. So when you pull one, the others will cool down. So let's observe the filament lighting there and let's see if it, it shuts down. I'll just pull this first position. 
And yeah, it, sorry about that, it sure does, look. They're not lighting up anymore. How interesting. Totally forgot about that. And then let's take a look as they reignite. Cool. And then here's something else that I stumbled upon. See this guy back there? What's this? Hopefully that, hopefully that pot hasn't failed um, or is not mechanically failing and, uh, and it's just contaminated. So we'll see. It's certainly cutting the volume. Bye. All right. For all you goons and mutants out there who want to trash talk on these old PBs, let that be a lesson to you. All it took to restore the volume here was a simple cleaning of the effects loop and getting the contamination out of that mid pot. Now she's loud and proud. I'm going to go ahead and, and go through the rest of the amp, even these old PV tubes. Still fully functional without any noise. So, um, so Sylvia, I'm going to go ahead and service the rest of the amp. Um, I'll go through and check the caps here, the high and low voltage supplies, um, go through your, the power amp, the resistors over there, and we'll check all the, uh, all the voltages at the sockets. We'll take it from there. But otherwise, seems like we've resolved the issue. Update later.